Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a minute and say just because we're practicing social distancing doesn't mean we can't have book clubs. Thanks to technology, we have quite a few options for how to share our love of books with our friends. Um, St. Louis Public Library has access to ebooks and downloadable audiobooks just by going to slpl.org and searching the online catalog. This is the stack of books that I checked out for myself before we closed, and every single one of these titles is available on either ebook or downloadable audiobook through stlouispubliclibrary.org. Um, just a side note about downloading e-materials. Uh, certain e-materials do have some restrictions on them, so there is a chance that everybody in your group might not be able to read the same book at the same time. So if you do choose a book that has restrictions on it, be sure to return it whenever you're finished so that way it can cycle through your group faster. Uh, but once you have your book and you have your date in mind for when you want to discuss it, you have a couple different options for how to handle your meeting. The first is video and you can do this through FaceTime, uh, Facebook allows multi-user chats, or there are different apps you can download such as Zoom. Uh, each one has pros and cons. Some have limits on the amount of time you can use it. Some have limits on the amount of users. So be sure to really research it and choose what's best for your group before moving forward. Uh, if video chat isn't your thing, that's okay. You can also choose an asynchronous option. Uh, good Reads is a website that allows you to post discussion questions, and um, as long as everybody in your group has a Goodreads account, then they can respond to those discussion questions. Uh, my friends and I actually have a Facebook group for our book club, and it's really come in handy for times like now, whenever we can't meet in person. And so what we do is we pick a date, and on that date, I will start a thread that just says, hey, discuss the book here, and then everybody comments on that thread with their opinions of the book. Uh, it really leads to some good conversation. Uh, that might not work for your group. Your group might need some prodding, um, and that's okay. There are a lot of options for how to handle that. Uh, you can just create different uh, discussion questions that you think of, that you come up while you're reading. You can also Google discussion questions. Uh, a lot of books have uh, readers club guides out there, either on the internet or even in the book itself. This is the book that I just recently finished and you can see down here that it does contain discussion questions at the back of the book. If you get the ebook, it's also included. Um, you can also just Google very generic discussion questions. There are some questions that will work for any book you read. Uh, would you be friends with the main character? Why or why not? That's gonna to apply to almost any book you can read. Uh, this book that I finished is a mystery with an unreliable narrator. So without even reading the book, just knowing that, I know that I can ask, um, who did you trust the most? Who did you trust the least? Uh, was there a time when you figured out the ending? Uh, what was it? Um, things like that are going to apply to pretty much any mystery. So the main thing is do what's right for your group. You might not get it the first time around. It might take some trial and error and that's okay. But if you do start a book club online, please let us know how it goes. Tell us what works and what didn't work. And if you have any issues with e-materials, please reach out so we can help you with that. All right, stay healthy everyone and we hope to see you soon.